Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here, your educator, mentor and friend and welcome to your very own YouTube channel and in this video, I'm going to tell you about some very smart resources that you can use for completing microbiology in a short time. These are the resources that you might have heard or most likely you might have not heard about it except for the one that uh, there's a lot of buzz about. But uh, I believe that if you read from these resources, a lot of your concepts in microbiology will get clear. You'll get a lot of uh, easy to access flowcharts and the tables that will help you to answer the questions in microbiology. So let's see what these resources are. Before that, why am I talking about microbiology here is because I believe that many of you are following the 85 to 90 days timetable that we are doing with the daily targets on Telegram group. And I believe that uh, it is helping a lot of you to maintain the consistency and not lose the track. If yes, do hit the like button so that it tells me that how many of you are actually following or at least trying to follow the timetable and the daily targets. So today that is 1st of August we have started with microbiology it's a six days you have the target of completing microbiology seems daunting but I believe that by the end of the video this will help you and in getting some direction on how to complete this subject in six days. So uh, coming to the resources here which are the three best resources that you can use and how you can complement them with the resources that you might be otherwise using. The first one, like this is very, very important and a very concise flowchart which summarizes all the bacteria and their important features, like literally every word is a potential question in this flowchart. So let me show you this flowchart here. So this is how the flowchart is. You have the gram negative all summarized here. You can see with the features and then it's just a two page PDF. And then you have the gram positive bacteria with all the features summarized for each bacteria. So what I would suggest is like tomorrow in the daily targets, you have gram positive bacteria to be done. So once you skim through the gram positive bacteria uh, from your resources, or maybe even before that, you can just focus on this flow chart and see what are the important points for all the important bacteria. So this flow chart, I have made it available on the Telegram group. Uh, you can directly download it from there. The link of the post of this PDF I am sharing in the description of this video. So make sure you have this handy. You can even take a printout of this flowchart and add the important points of bacteriology in this flowchart or add the sticky notes. So that's the first resource. Second is USMLE first aid. So I believe many of you must be knowing about this. So in USMLE first aid, where do you find immunology and microbiology is basically uh, you will have uh, two categories, right? So in this index, you can get the soft copies or the hard copies of these books. In this index uh, of uh, USMLE first aid, in the high yield general principles, you will have immunology and then you would have microbiology. So the best part about this book that it's very, very consolidated. A lot of high yielding stuffs have been given. That's the most important. You have important images also that are combined. So make sure you complement this microbiology, immunology section along with your ongoing resources. Consolidate your subject into this one book. Uh, you can even take the printout again of these pages and make sure that your microbiology becomes very concise. So this is the second resource that I would be recommending for sure. And the third and again a very, very important resource which I found very helpful though not during my preparation time but now when I prepare for lectures to simplify the things for the students and I hunt around for resources, this is the book that I stumbled upon and it's very, very good to clear your concepts again. That is Kaplan Lecture Notes ka, uh, book. You can also get the PDF. It's available freely. So here, this is the entire book which is basically on immunology and microbiology. So you can see the entire index here. Part one is immunology and then you have part two, which is microbiology. Now, if you don't have time to read the entire book, of course, what I would at least suggest is you have this appendix here in immunology, which is basically CD markers and cytokines. But you have the practice questions. Those are the MCQs, which are very, very important and they help you clear the concepts. So from this particular book, I would at least suggest these MCQs from immunology and then you have microbiology practice questions as well. Please practice these questions. They'll clear a lot of concepts. And the other thing that you have this another appendix in microbiology that is the reference charts and the tables. 
Now, these are the charts and tables which are very, very important and they'll give you everything. Right, so in the towards the last pages, you will have this important list of microbiology. Plus, you would have this reference charts and tables, which you can see will, uh, you know, summarize everything about the cocci, the bacilli, the important features, uh, you know, for each bacteria. All of that will be given here uh, in this PDF in this charts, right? So make sure at least you revise these charts. Everything is summarized here. So basically, the three best resources, that is uh, the flow chart that you can download from the Telegram group, link in the description, then the USMLE first aid and the Kaplan lecture notes, MCQs, and the appendix from this book and the charts, which are very, very important. So try to integrate this. And the most important for any subject, like you are targeting need PG, so it's important that you look at the previous year questions, whatever point is there, you know, uh, just highlighted in these respective resources, whatever point is not included in these resources, add on to this resource, make sure that particularly by the end, you are finishing the first reading of a subject, you have one place to go to the next time you want to revise that subject, no multiple resources for the next revisions, right? So I hope this has helped you to get some direction into how to read microbiology. Do let me know if there is any other thing that you uh, that you think that I can help you with, be it the topics in microbiology or be it other subjects that you are struggling with. And I'll uh, try and help you with the resources that can help you learn the subject in an easy manner. So thank you for watching this one. And let's try and complete microbiology in the next six days. And goodbye. Take care. Keep studying. Keep revising. And keep winning. And yes, do not forget to drop a like. And share this with your friends and colleagues whom you think will definitely benefit out of this video. Thank you so much.